Hello everybody, Zelfie here, and today I am back with another video. Today I wanted to do a video on how to get this dude right here. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments on, oh, where do you get Melmetal? How do you evolve Meltan? And all of that. And I sort of wanted to go over that because one, this is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, two, uh, this Pokemon's really good. And three, there's not a lot of games where you're ever going to get the chance to use a Melmetal, right? So, I kind of wanted to talk about it, and since so many people were asking me in the comments section, and I actually gave away a little bit of misinformation, slash, um, not enough information, I guess, um, it's important for me to go, or I felt it was important enough for me to make a video on it. So, there's a couple of things that you can do to improve your chances of getting a battle. This is a strat that I plan on doing my Nuzlocke run. When I get to this point eventually, um, I'm gonna set up for this. But, one of the first things you might want to do if you're doing Nuzlocke is you come to this route right here, and we're actually going to go to Dex now. You want to find a Magnemite. Uh, one of the reasons for this is for Magnet Pull. Obviously, um, you can go ahead and catch it. I already have a Magnezone. I actually caught it uh, for this very specific reason for testing this out. Um, so here's my Magnezone. I used them for a long time. And he does have the Magnet Pull ability. Now, even if you don't have Magnet Pull, you can go ahead and try to find a raid with an ability pill. Or, you can go straight to Saffron, and you come right to this place. I believe it's this dude. You can buy ability pills from him if you really need to change the ability on the Magnemite you caught. Um, but you want your Magnemite, Magneton, whatever, to have Magnet Pull. And then we're going to go to the Safari Zone. Now, one of the reasons why we actually go with the Magnet Pulse strategy is, one, you can't find a Meltan anywhere else in the game, I believe, so you can't Dex Nav it. But even if you could Dex Nav it, you're not allowed to do that in the Safari Zone. So we're going to head into the Safari Zone, and make sure you have your um, Magnet Pulse Pokemon in the front, uh, as you can see my Magnet Zone does. And you're just going to come here, and... This is a... I will actually go ahead and uh, pull this up. So, this is the Safari Zone table, and Meltan is at a 20%. I've, this is where the misinformation comes in, by the way. I've said that Meltan is a 2%, which is a lie. It's actually Chansey that's the 2%. Um, so, my bad on that front. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a lot lower, but apparently it's more common than I thought. But, I have tested this a little bit, and I believe Magnet Pull influences the... Uh, chance rate of getting a melt in. As you see, we got one here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do some more encounters just to show that the rate is actually boosted. I didn't know if this was gonna work originally. Oh, there's a Kecleon, um, there's a melt in. Yeah. I didn't know if all this stuff was gonna work originally, so let's actually go ahead and catch melt in so I can show you guys how to evolve it. Rock. Oh. <laughs> you probably also don't want that to happen to your run. Uh, Alright, cool. Melt in has been caught. I'm just gonna go ahead and retire now, and we can go ahead and fly straight to, uh, double speed is triggering me right now, alright. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Celadon real quick, and we can go ahead and pull our Meltan out of the box. Our Meltan's not gonna have a lot of great moves to begin with. I believe that pretty much you have like Iron Head and maybe Thunder Punch, I can't remember. And the cap for Koga was 75? I believe it was 75, or somewhere around that range. Uh, you're gonna go to the third floor of- I'm oh, sorry, not the third floor, it's the fourth floor um, of the Cellular Department Store. And you're gonna buy a uh, Metal Coat. This is what we use to evolve the Meltan. You, of course, I might as well show this while you're here. This is where you get all the Stone Evolutions. Uh, and you can also get a couple of other items. This evolves Milotic. Uh, this evolves on the trade evolutions. And there's a couple more things here too. I think the only thing that isn't here is Dubious Disc. I don't remember where you get that. You probably get that like self-kill or something. Um, but yeah, all you have to do now is go all the way down to my items when I pass it eventually. And we're just gonna go ahead and evolve Meltan real quick. There's no reason to keep it in this small form for, you know, as, like, <laughs> you pretty much get the spot immediately and you want to evolve it. There's no reason to keep it like this. And this is how you get Mel Metal. Oh, and it tries to learn Thunder Punch on level up, which is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Astarmor. Cool. 
And now, I want to see what moves it has available to it immediately. Because I think Double Iron Bash is a, um... What's it called? I think it's a higher level up move. I can actually go ahead and double check this. But let's go ahead and go to Cerulea real quick. Um... Wait, hold on. This is the dude that reteaches. Yeah. So, let's see what this Mimata has. Um, yeah. Okay. I remember where Iron Head is now. My bad. Um, we actually have, need to go all the way back to, uh, Selum. My bad. So, yeah, once you get your Mel Metal, you'll probably want to come to this guy right here. And he'll teach uh, Iron Head to your Pokemon. This is only temporary, because you'll get Iron Bash towards endgame, I will say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of Iron Head here. So, yeah, this is how you get your Mel Metal. Uh, it's a super good mod, I will say. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the better mods in this game, and one of the reasons for that is is because it's just got super phenomenal bulk. Um, ignore that special attack, but, like, um, look at these- wait, hold on. Is mine better? I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cap out my IVs while I'm here. This is, like, a save state from, uh, where I have enough money to do so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cap out my stats real quick just to give a proper overview of what Mel Metal will look like, for the Elite Four at least. So this is a capped out Mel Metal, you know, um, perfect stats everywhere, uh, max attack, out of nature, um, its EVs are all in HP and attack. So you know, all things considered, this is what you're looking with, and this is a really good mod for a lot of reasons. One is because of its just super impressive physical bulk, uh, it has so much HP a lot of physical defense, and it hits extremely hard. Uh, you can shove an assault vest on this thing to improve its special defense just a little bit. And that will help it in handling a lot of the special threats. Uh, for example, uh, it can help you check the Swallow that knows Aerial Light Boom Burst. Uh, it might be able to live in a Selgor Focus Blast. Oh wait, you don't have assault vest at that point. My bad. Um, <laughs> Whoops, but it can be helpful in that gym. It's not the most helpful mod ever just because you're gonna be dealing with a lot of special attackers in Koga's gym and you don't exactly resist a lot of their attacks. Maybe you'll be able to take a hit from Swallow and then you can trade with it, but in Koga's gym it's probably not gonna do that much. Um, same thing for Blade. I don't see this being too helpful in Blade because, you know, it's a freaking fire gym. You might be able to do an Okaberry and get away with some strats with like uh, putting Rock Slide or Earthquake on this and Revenge KOing something. Um, but outside Blade, it's not going to do much. We're starting to pull some weight is in the Double Battle in Cerulean Cave. Uh, it's just really bulky mod. It helps to handle Mawile, which is one of the scarier mods on the opponent's team. And it can do a decent chunk of damage to a lot of the other uh, opponent's Pokemon too. Uh, you can com combo it with the uh, Air Balloon and Protect. Uh, you dodge a uh, fake out turn one. Wait, hold on. Is that the fight that has Amoswan or Incineroar? I can't remember what the Cerulean Cave boss fight is, but it'll be helpful there if you need it. Uh, it's also decently useful against uh, Giovanni, the final Giovanni fight, of course, uh, because he runs quite a lot of special attackers. He's got a Lele, he's got a Mewtwo, and they want to be clicking Expanding Force just because they have terrain up and it does spread damage. So putting an Assault Vest on this mod will allow you to take more of those hits. It also handles uh, some of the Pokemon on the Sand Team pretty well, such as the Tyranitar, for example. Uh, you'll have issues with the Extra Drill, but, you know, gotta cope with it. And in the Clear Battle, it's also alright. Um, it's okay on switching into some of Naganadel's moves. Uh, once again, you might want to run AV or an Ulkaberry on there in order to get past the Naganadel, who has Fire Blast, I believe. Um, it also helps to check Magirna, and Magirna is a dumb Pokemon. Uh, so it's helpful there. And then finally, you have the uh, Elite Four battles, I believe. I don't think there's a wrong fight before that. There is, I just honestly can't remember it. Oh, you have the Brendan fight, but Brendan's usually pretty easy. Um, but in the Elite Four, it's pretty helpful. Turn the Ice Team, oh, once again, you just shove an Assault Vest on, they want to click Blizzard. It helps you remove some of their mods. It can help check uh, Glaceon, the... Is it Vanillix? I forget what Pokemon sets a pale in the first turn. Uh, but yeah, it can help check that. There's quite a few things on Bruno's team that can help check. Um, 
it's sort of helpful against Zeusian, as long as it hasn't sort of stand stuff yet. Um, you can also do, like, sa oh, if it, if they haven't gotten Stealth Rock up against you, if you're burning, like, counter lead strategies, you can also, like, uh, put a Focus Ash on this and live a plus three Zeusian's close combat and return kill it with, like, Earthquake, probably. And Akatha, it's a bit helpful for the Gengar, once again, Assault Fest. You basically just get the trade with a lot of mods because your bulk is so, so good. I don't, yeah, I just don't have too much else to say about this mod. It's really good in a lot of the fights, and I can ramble on about it a bit longer, but I've already told you guys how to get it. I think one of the better parts about this game is figuring out how to use all this cool stuff on your own, so I won't talk too much more about it. Uh, I've been kind of rambling for these past few minutes, but, you know, that's how you get Mel Metal. I definitely recommend using it. It's so, so strong. It's one of my favorite Pokemons, of course. And, you know, when are you ever going to get a chance to use another Mel Metal? Because this mod's pretty exclusive in terms of where you can actually use it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, just get your Magnet Pull mod, go to Safari Zone. By the way, in the Safari Zone, you can only find it in that first area. If you go to any other... Oh, that's not uh, Fuchsia. If you go to any other zone, you will not be finding Mel Metals, or Mel Tans. You'll be finding uh, anything else. So, uh, there's one more detail I should have talked about. But, like, if I come over here and start looking at this grass, you will not find Mel Tans. Uh, but, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So... I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later.